So next, let's talk about fish eyes and craters. Uh, and again, very common. We see this in a lot of shops. We see this uh, for a lot of different reasons. My definition of a fish eye is a defect on the part where the coating has moved, whether it be a small hole or a, a significant size hole, the, the coating has moved until you can see the substrate. And a crater would be where the coating has tried to move, but it didn't go all the way to substrate. So you, you might just see a, a dip or a, a, a exactly what it's called a crater in the surface, but it does not, does not go all the way to substrate. So a lot of things can cause fish eyes or craters. Uh, it's usually obviously some type of contaminant. We see all kinds of contaminants out in there. Uh, uh, people use WD-40, people use aerosol spray cans for touch-up paint. Uh, we see grinding disc and uh, sandpapers that have silicone type uh, media on them uh, that doesn't get blown off properly or it or it gets used close to where you're coating a part and it gets carried over by the air onto your part as you're painting uh, and and then it results in uh, in fish eyes or craters we also see it uh, you can see it from your air supply or moisture in your air oil in your air anything in that airstream that you're applying powder with uh, can also uh, is a contaminant and can also cause uh, fish eyes or craters. Uh, you know the best way to maintain those things is you know not everybody can afford an environmental room but the best way to maintain those things is not to bring those those types of things into your coating area you know no aerosol cans make sure you have oil separators and, and moisture separators and things like that on your on your airlines. Uh, try not to do touch up work and sanding the same place you're coating parts. And if you do, make sure you have a way to collect that dust or that those airborne particles. Uh, so really that's the best way to get rid of to to keep from having fish eyes and craters is to do the work up front and, and not not bring into your area those things that can cause fish